One of my most oddly requested questions, I get this all the time. So I'm just gonna answer this question and then y'all can go crazy and wild, okay? So if you guys are interested, go ahead and keep watching. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. Hot. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm your girl Chi. Today we're gonna talk about one of my most oddly requested questions. I get this all the time. So I'm just gonna answer this question and then y'all can go crazy and wild, okay? People always ask me, how do I ship my car? How do I take my car from assignment to assignment to assignment? Okay, been on three assignments, all three assignments, I've had my car because, I don't know, that's the person I am. I don't like renting because I feel like it's a lot of responsibility and a hassle and I don't like um, Ubering all the time and it eventually adds up. So before I decide that I want to ship my car, I do my research. I look at the area I'm going into and I'm like, look, is it cheaper to rent a car or is it cheaper to uh, ship my car? Okay, and I have to kind of get an idea of my next move. After this assignment, am I going home? Am I going to another state? What am I doing? So I can find the most or the least cost, the most cost effective, there we go, the most cost effective route for me to go through. Always, 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 you want to look like two weeks in advance, a week at least in advance to find the right, you know, person to ship your car. Now, if you don't know how car shipping works, this is how it works in, in my experience. I've done it a couple of times. Most times, you either, one, can do it by yourself and put your information out there into the world wide web and they will find you, you know, if you go into iShip or whatever, they will find you, but I go through a, a broker. And the broker gets a fee, of course, but what the broker does, just like a recruiter for travel nurse, they're the middleman. They get your car to the right uh, person and then the person contacts you and you're able to ship your car. So instead of just putting your information on the world wide web and having randos just bid on them, the recruiter speaks to these different, you know, travel companies, I mean car shipping companies and tries to get you the best price. The first thing you want to do is find a uh, broker or find a tr uh, car shipping company that is reliable and reputable and that are honest, straight up honest. I remember my first, the first time I shipped my car, it was horrendous. The person did not get back to me. They were like, yeah, we're going to ship your car, we're going to ship your car. And then uh, a week goes by and then literally the day my car was supposed to be picked up, where was they? Where was they? I was like, um, fam, what's really good? And I was upset and I was irate and I was like, this is my first contract. <laughs> this is so traumatic. I was all over with my emotions. And then I had to find another agency or find another broker super, super duper quickly. So I finally found this guy and I've been using him every single time, clutch works like clock clockwork. And in trying to weed out the weirdos and weed out the ones who are not you can't trust with your car, you need to look at car reviews. And I believe, oh, what's the website's name? I think it's Transport Review. Yeah, it's gonna be in the, the boxy box. Basically, it just has uh, reviews from customers uh, of the different uh, travel, I keep saying travel company, I mean the car company that ship your car. And uh, they tell you their honest feedback. And I really love that because if Jane says that they jacked up her car, why would I trust company with my car if they jacked up Jane's car? Okay, you get the point? So make sure you go for someone who is trustworthy because this is your vehicle. And things can happen and your car can get, you know, damaged. So you want to go with the least likely, you know, company to get you all riled up. So the price of shipping your car varies. It varies a lot because it depends on one, where you're going, how far it is from your destination to where they're picking it up, and what is, is it easy to re reach? Is the place you wanna ship your car in the middle of nowhere, or is it a very traveled route? It depends on the size of your car as well. So the highest I've ever paid to ship my car is, I believe, $1,000. And that was to California because it's kind of middle of nowhere and it's really far from Texas. So give you an idea. The cheapest I've ever shipped my car for, 700. So yeah, gives you kind of an idea. 
Now that you, you know, found the right person to ship your car, they've given you a great quote, a great rate, it's time to get it in writing. Everything needs to be traceable. It is important for any legal issues to arise, any bickering, no, I got receipts, boom. Hold on, let me pull up my email. So make sure you have it all in writing. So after you made sure that you have signed everything, you've discussed the pickup time, the delivery, the pickup time and date, the delivery time and date, and you're good to go, and the person comes with their little huge mega rig or whatever to come pick your car, you need to do a walkthrough. And I usually, you can put stuff in your car, and I do that. Just make sure it's not like your whole life, which I did the first time, but I've gotten really 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 good at you know compressing and simplifying my traveling so i'll um, make sure you take a video when the person's not there have everything just how you packed it you've taken a picture of your um your car your mile your you know everything because you never know i just don't want to not have receipts and then something happens and it's like yikes so make sure you do that when the person comes you're gonna sign some document saying that hey these are the scratches on my car this is what my car looks like x y and z and then you do a walk through you literally walk through inspect your car and um and yeah that's it you get your car on and you ship it okay now when it's time to receive your car what you want to do is make sure you call the person a day ahead because stuff happens traffic happens i'm not gonna you know you gotta drop off the other cars in other places i'm not gonna beef but I like to know when I'm gonna get my car so I can plan ahead. I usually like to uh, have my car arrive a day before I start. So let's say I start on Monday, I want my car to arrive on Saturday. So Sunday, I can get anything else I need and I'm not crunched for time. What I don't wanna happen is to arrange for my car to be dropped off the day before I start, a mishap happens, and then Monday when I'm supposed to be going to uh, the hospital to do orientation, I'm trying to get my vehicle. No, we wanna have this transition to our new assignment be as stress-free as possible. So I hope that helped explain how to ship your car, the cheapest way to ship your car, and if you have any more questions, please link it down below. If you have questions that you're scared to ask, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat and go ahead and ask, ask them. I always reply, I love replying. But um, that's it, <laughs> that's all I have. Be sure to check out other videos. You know, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.